it's time to try some Carlsberg India beers. So this is Carlsberg that's out in the Indian market. So on my left here, I have Carlsberg Strong, which is introduced in 2011 into the Indian market. And this comes in at up to 8% ABV. This is the usual, um, you know, it between six and eight percent um, guidance they say and I think it is around eight percent that they actually sell it at and on the right is something that's relatively new this is Carlsberg Smooth which was released in 2018 and it's the Carlsberg beer that you would find in Europe um, not potentially the Carlsberg Pilsner which they relaunched in the UK but this is um, the lager but adapted for the Indian market now smooth normally to me would mean like Worthington Smooth, Boddington Smooth, it would mean a nitro beer. I don't believe this is nitro. Um, this is a lower ABV, it's 5%. Uh, both of them are obviously this is premium beers because they have a foreign name tag attached to them. I'm going to open these up and pour them out. So let's open up the Elephant Strong to begin with. Um, I've not had either of these beers before, so just making that clear off the cuff here oh. all right so that'll do now let's get this next one done these have been chilling in the fridge and they are nice and cool they have settled and they have not been shaken up vigorously um, unlike my prior beers that um, you will have seen I think the day before on the channel um, so yeah this is it now just to say both of these beers and I'm just gonna double check um, yep they both are max retail price here in Mumbai 160 rupees so although this is up to five and this is six to eight they both are retailing at the same price um, now straight away I can see that um, surprisingly the um, higher ABV elephant is maintaining a head um, now I don't know if it potentially is the glassware that's causing that there are bubbles raising up on this but um, there is not a head being maintained now I don't know if that is to do with the whole idea of smooth but when I rock it about a bit there um, it does sort of create a head but they're both dissipating quite quickly I'm going to say straight away, these glasses aren't the best for drinking beer, but they've all I got to hand at the moment, so I'll take that. Right, let's go with the Smooth first. So the Smooth should be, as I say, an Indian take on Carlsberg Lager, which is available across Europe and in the UK now we've got Carlsberg um, Danish Pilsner. The nose. Barely anything, not getting much off the nose at all. Wow, that is, yeah, that that's not anything at all off the nose. Wow. Um, right, let's go in for the taste and see. Yeah, it's um, it's inoffensive. It's it's. It's a lager. Uh, it's not so sweet, actually. Um, I think a lot of them are sweeter for the Indian market, but I'm just trying to think in my head, is this sweeter than Carlsberg in the UK? Now, problem in the UK is, as I said, we've got Carlsberg um, in most of the pubs. It's Carlsberg Danish Pilsner now. Um, to, to trace, to taste Carlsberg, you will get the export cans, and I don't know when we'll last had one of those. Um, yeah, it's not as sweet as some of the other um, lagers um, that are out here in India. It's clean, it's easy, but I definitely think it's sweeter than Carlsberg back in the UK or continental Europe. I'm not sure what is smooth about it. It does state, though, that it uses um, European barley, so I'm assuming... They send out a concentrate here that's somehow then mixed in to the beer and then they're adding extra sugars to help the fer fermentation. That's just me guessing totally at this stage. Um, but yeah, it's 
it's definitely sweeter than UK Carlsberg, but it's not as sweet as other Indian lagers. And that's clean, crisp, not much to it. Now let's go across to the elephant. Now the elephant, I they, they say on the website, is it called the elephant because there's elephants on the Carlsberg brewing gates or because elephant is a strong beer? It's because it's a strong beer. It's gotta be that, it's gotta be that. They all go with um, big terminologies to throw behind white strong at that stage. An elephant is a strong beer, especially for the Indian market. Elephant is a strong animal, strong beer. Um, I would say between the colors, there's nothing. They have managed to match the colors of the Carlsberg Smooth and the Carlsberg Strong, which you don't tend to see between the um, lower ABV and higher, higher ABV here. You tend to find the higher ABV is a darker color because of the malt. Now let's get up a nose of this. <laughs> Again, I'm going to say that is not giving off much at all. That is shocking. Um, the noses are both fairly bland, I would say. There's not much coming off either of the noses here. It, it, either of them, I would say, there's a faint hint of a lager nose. Um, but otherwise, nothing. Right, let's taste this one. Oh, right, so I would say, wait, go back for a second taste. Wow, okay. Surprisingly, I think they're both very close. There's more carbonation on this and potentially more sweetness on this one. So the smooth is more carbonated and sweeter, which is surprising. The strong, lower carbonation, and more of a, a malt taste coming through than actual sweetness, which is sort of a first for these strong Indian lagers. That is not one that's got massive sweetness that's trying to overpower the alcohol and actually you know probably unfermented alcohol elements in there as well that could have boosted the beer higher or additional sugars they may have added that is decent i i'm i'm actually impressed by that um yeah wow um a bit shocked so carlsberg smooth again i said nothing on the nose on the taste, probably a bit too sweet for my liking. But as I say, it's sweeter than most on the Indian market. And I probably, probably think that's better than um, other ones with the reduced sweetness, if you're not looking for sweetness. But I don't mind on the, as I say, the 5% bracket having a bit of extra sweetness. It just adds to the beer and it's sessionable and easy to drink. This one, I think if you're not looking for as much sweetness, the smooth is good for you, but for me, yeah, it can it can stand on the side. I'll probably go for some of the other ones. But the elephant. Oh yeah, let's talk about the elephant in the room. Oh, I've been waiting to use that for ages. That's brilliant. Can't believe I've managed to use that in this. <laughs> yeah, this one, I really like it. I really like it. Um, I didn't think that would be the case, um, especially after tasting that, but this is solid. Out of the higher ABVs, this is actually decent, and um, you don't feel like you're overloaded with sugar. Yep, yeah, so for me, Elephant wins out of these two, um, and I would be interested, and this is an idea now that I'm formulating my head, to pitch the strong, Elephant strong, against other strong beers in India and see which I prefer. I think that's something I may do. Right, everyone, take care. And I'll see you again for another Indian beer review in the near future. Take care.